everybody. Welcome to the session. Welcome to yet another Thama Kitar, Farra Kitar, and Mazdar session by Vidantu Young Mandal. This is Pitesh, your host, your dose, and a proud master teacher from Vidantu. Welcoming you to the amazing, amazing session. Very, very important. A little lengthy, but very interesting chapter from your grade 7, Nutrition in Animals, right? So today we'll be learning about nutrition in animals. But before that, I want to tell you that on Sunday at 11 a.m., we are meeting with life notes and menti. Yes, guys, there are going to be life notes plus menti on Sunday at 11 a.m. on your grade 7 chapter, Transportation in Plants and Animals. So, live notes, we will be making the notes live in the class, plus we'll be having the menti on Sunday at 11 o'clock, so don't miss it, right? So, there's going to be the live menti as well as there is going to be live notes also. So, let's begin guys, this is some information about I, me, myself. Do not forget to follow me on Instagram at Pitesh Vidantu. That's my Insta handle, so follow me right there, right? This is some information about I, me, myself, right? Where you can, you know, know what have I done. It's been how long that I'm, you know, teaching. How many students have I helped to learn, grow and evolve. And some accolades that have gone, got to my share. So, and that's my Insta handle where you can follow me right there. Also guys, Zig Ziglar said that you don't have to be great to start, but you have to start to be great. That's such an amazing quote. I don't, I don't understand that how people give such amazing theories, such amazing quotes. And Zig Ziglar said that you don't have to be great to start. You know, when, when you want to start something, it's not necessary that you have to be great, but you have to start to become great. For example, if we think, uh, if we take the example of Shah Rukh Khan, you know, he is the king of Bollywood. Everybody in the world knows him today. Now, Shah Rukh Khan did not, when he started his career, he was not the Shah Rukh Khan or he was not the king of Bollywood. But today he is, right? He started his journey from a very, 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 very low profile. And today he is, he is the person whom the entire world knows. So you should not be great to start something but you should start becoming great. And that is how it works, right? So that's why I just take these quotes, take these learnings and make sure that you go ahead with it. Yes, see, Lakshmi says that uh, Shah Rukh Khan worked in a coffee shop, right? Uh, the, uh, you know, our own cabinet minister, Smriti Irani, she used to work in McDonald's. Yes, she used to work as a waitress in McDonald's and today she is a part of the central government. Right? We have so, so, so many examples. Our own Honorable Prime Minister, whom I really admire a lot, Prime Minister Narendra Modi, he was, he used to sell tea on railway stations and today he is the Prime Minister of the largest democracy in the world. Look at the journey. So, it's not necessary that you have to be great when you start something, but you should definitely start and you should definitely have the goals to be something great. Right? So, with that, we move ahead further. And we are going to be learning nutrition in animals, one shot revision. So, quickly, before that, give this video a big fat thumbs up. Come on guys, give this video a big fat thumbs up. How many thumbs up have we got yet? Let me just check quickly. Come on, let me check. Only and only 64 and we have got 115 watching. Come on guys, this is not fair. Come on, come on, come on. Okay, let us get 100 thumbs up. Quickly, 100 thumbs up. Quickly, 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 100 thumbs up. I'm refreshing, refreshing, refreshing. And we are at 89. Come on, can we get 11 more? 100 thumbs up. Quickly, quickly, quickly. 92. Come on, come on, come on. 8 more, 8 more, 8 more. And you have to add chal gaya. 96. And 97. Come on, 3 more thumbs up. Come on, come on, come on. Quickly, 98. 2 more thumbs up. 97. Fir se ho gaya. Come on, come on guys, jaldi se ek like to banta hai yaar. 123 watching and we can't even get 100 likes. Come on, jaldi se, jaldi se, jaldi se. Quick, 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 very quick. Jaldi se ek thumbs up dena hai guys. Come on, come on, come on. That's amazingly awesome. Thik hai? Chal. Thank you so much for the love and support that you have been always sharing. Right? Chal. Now let's quickly begin the learning. So we are going to be learning nutrition in animals, different ways of taking in food, digestion in humans, digestion in grass eating animals and feeding and digestion in amoeba. Digestion in humans, I will be teaching you on the notes. Okay? So let's start. Nutrition in animals. So animals usually have heterotrophic mode of nutrition. And why is nutrition required or what is nutrition? The nutrition is defined as the process of taking in food and utilizing it in the body for different purposes. 
what is nutrition the process of taking in nutrients and their proper utilization in the body that is what is nutrition and what is digestion digestion is the breakdown of complex food into simple to generate energy right complex food into simple to absorb the nutrients and generate energy right so that is what is nutrition and digestion now different animals have different ways different animals have different ways of eating in food lakshmi uh, hetero means others so the heterotropism means when you are dependent on others for nutrition the word tropism means nutrition and the word heteros means others so when you are dependent on others for nutrition that is hetero nutrition or heterotropic nutrition which is seen in animals right so if we talk about the snail the snail will scrape the ant will uh, chew eagle will uh, swallow hummingbird will suck lice will suck mosquito will suck butterfly will suck and housefly will brew you know how does a housefly eat housefly absorbs housefly just it just sucks in the nutrients from the substrate right chal so now we talk about nutrition in animals right very very important we are talking about nutrition in animals especially humans now this is again going to be live notes right it again going to be live notes so make sure that you are with me in this and also there is going to be a live quiz even the snake swallows dazzling dk even the snake swallows theek hai chal so we begin with ingestion we begin with ingestion what is ingestion ingestion is taking in of food is ingestion right it happens in the mouth when i talk about the mouth when i talk about the mouth we'll do one process at a time when i talk about the mouth in your mouth you have got lips teeth tongue right lips teeth and tongue let's talk about teeth under teeth you have got two categories one is the milk teeth which are from birth up to the age of 6 to 8 right and permanent teeth permanent teeth are from age of 6 to 8 till death theek hai what is the function of the teeth so under teeth also you have got four categories you have got four categories you have got incisors canine premolar and molar right the total is 8488 right 888 8324 and 4 is 28 plus 4 wisdom teeth plus sorry 28 Plus four is your wisdom teeth, right? So, what is the function of the teeth? The function of the teeth is to chew and grind the food. The function of the teeth is to chew and grind the food, right? The tongue will mix the food with the saliva. The tongue will mix the food with the saliva, and it will also taste, right? So, the function of the tongue is. T T M. What is the function of the tongue? It is T T M. What is T T M? What is T T M? So T T M stands for taste, talk, and mix with saliva. Right? From where do you get the saliva? Saliva comes from salivary glands and how many salivary glands do we have we have got 
three pairs of salivary glands. We have got three pairs of salivary glands. Right? So this is your process of ingestion. This is your process of ingestion. Okay? This is clear. Wisdom teeth. Mana wisdom teeth are the teeth which you get usually after the age of 25. These are extra tooth which do not have any function. It is not compulsory that everyone will get these teeth. For some people it does not come out. For some people it does. So you have got four wisdom teeth. One, two, three, four. One at each corner. Four corners, four teeth. Okay? Uh, Sam place, canines are these, the pointed ones. Your lion and tigers, your carnivores have got huge canines. Your carnivores have got very, very big canines. They are used to tear the food. Supriya, so, we will learn about ruminants later. Okay? Chal. Okay? This is your ingestion. Right? I am deleting this. If you want a screenshot, you can take it. If you want a screenshot, you can take it. I am deleting it. Okay? 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, go. Okay? Now we move on to the next part. Now we move on to the next part. So, from the mouth, from the mouth after chewing, the food moves through the esophagus. Right? In the esophagus, you it is also called as the food pipe. It is also called as the food pipe. In the esophagus, the process of peristalsis begins. The process of peristalsis begins. What is peristalsis? I want you to research. This is your research topic. What is peristalsis? Okay? After esophagus, the food moves into the stomach. Now, about the stomach, I would like to tell you that this is the widest part of your elementary canal. Widest part of the elementary canal. Right? In your stomach, in your stomach, there are three important things present in your stomach. One is HCL, one is pepsin, and the third one is mucus. Right? HCL, pepsin, and mucus. HCL, pepsin, and mucus. Let us see the functions of all three. Let us see the functions of all three. HCL, it will Maintain acidic medium. Maintain acidic medium in the stomach. So, when you are eating Pani Puri wale bhaiya ka Pani Puri, Momos wale bhaiya ka Momos, Dose wale aunty ka Dosa, when you are eating all these street junk food, there are so many germs that go inside your stomach. But it is the HCL that will not let you fall sick and it will kill all the bacteria. Right? So that is the function of the stomach, of the HCN. Then we talk about pepsin. Pepsin is an enzyme that helps to digest proteins. And after pepsin comes mucus. Now, we know that HCL is a strong acid. We know that HCL is a strong acid. So, because of the HCL, the stomach wall should not get harmed. That is why mucus protects from HCL. Protects from HCL. So these are the three enzymes and their functions. The three enzymes of the stomach. Okay? The three enzymes of the stomach. Right? Then, from the stomach, from the stomach, the food goes into the small intestine the food goes into the small intestine right let us learn about the small intestine now is this clear hcl stands for hydrochloric acid hcl stands for hydrochloric acid it is secreted by the auxentic cells of your stomach secreted by the auxentic cells of your stomach Okay? Okay? Got it? Chal. Moving on to the next part of the elementary canal. So now we know that the food has gone from the mouth to the esophagus, 
from the esophagus is that it has gone into the stomach from the stomach and now it has gone into the small intestine what happens in the small intestine what happens in the small intestine let's find out first of all your small intestine is your small intestine is site for complete digestion your entire process of digestion is completed in the small intestine entire process of digestion is completed in the small intestine now i want to ask you all that if there is somebody who is doing a very very important and a very very extensive work if there is some person who is doing a very important and a very very extensive work do you think that person needs some assistance do you think that person should have some help some assistance should that person get some help help some assistance yes or no do you think that person should get some help some assistance yes or no very good chesta very good chesta you are absolutely right very good shorya very good uh, you know all of you those who are answering yes that's absolutely right so yes so the small intestine gets help from liver and pancreas it gets help from the liver and pancreas right what does the liver secrete the liver produces bile this bile is stored in the gall bladder and the gall bladder gives it to the small intestine whenever needed and what is the function of the bile the function of the bile is to break down fats right then pancreas pancreas will secrete pan pancreas will secrete trypsin and lipase which will help to digest carbs and fats theek hai theek hai yes lakshmi i am not talking about absorption i am talking about digestion we'll come to absorption later we'll come to absorption later thank you so much ishtar that's really very kind of you so the small intestine completes the process of digestion with the help of liver pancreas and there is one more very important part present in the small intestine that is microvilli and villi what are these these are finger like projections these are finger like projections that will do the process of absorption absorption of nutrients absorption of nutrients and and the small intestine has also got its own secretions its own secretions so with the help of liver with the help of pancreas with the help of villi and microvilli with the help of certain intestinal juices the small intestine completes the process of digestion once the food is digested all the nutrients are absorbed in the body and wherever they are required they are utilized in the body for example you ate an apple vitamin a goes to the eyes you drank some milk vitamin d went to the bones you had some leafy vegetables vitamin b it went to the muscles right you had uh, some good amount of iron like you know you had some dates iron goes to the blood right so that is how when you eat anything the nutrients gets absorbed and they are deri they are derivatives go to the particular part of the body and that is called as assimilation that is called as assimilation right very good very good uh, vishnu prasad sahu absolutely right that is the name that is the name that is assimilation yes sarshita whatever are your doubts you can tell theek hai then we move ahead further from the small intestine now the food goes to the large intestine in the large intestine nothing but nothing but absorption of water will happen right so mouth esophagus 
stomach, small intestine, large intestine, rectum and anus. Right? So, the processes that happen are ingestion, digestion, absorption, assimilation, and ejection. Right? So, water and minerals are absorbed in the large intestine. Right? Any kind of water, minerals and salts. The waste food, the undigested food is stored in the rectum and it is removed through the anus. Right? It is stored in the rectum and it is uh, removed through the anus. Okay? Yes, 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 Aryan. Large intestine will store the, sorry, gallbladder will store the bile which is produced by the liver. So the liver produces gallbladder stores and it gives it to the small intestine whenever required. Okay? Chal. Absolutely amazing. So this is the entire process of nutrition in animals. Okay? And now guys, let me tell you, if you want to learn, if you want to learn with me and all the amazing teachers of Pitantu for just and just rupees 1600. If you just want to learn in rupees 1600, then all you need to do is go to vdnt.in slash ytpro. Go on this website, select your grade, right? Select crash course and just use PRPRO. When you use this, you will just have to pay rupees 1600 and you will get to learn the entire syllabus from today till the end of your final exams at just rupees 1600, right? You know my teaching, you know me, you know Fatima ma'am, you know Nagomita ma'am, you know Mohan, you know Surbi ma'am, you know Sundar sir, you know Hari Priya, you know Priya, you know how we all teach. So why not learn with us live in the class, right? So you can join our crash course by going on the link which I have given you. Okay. Also guys, let me tell you that on Sunday, we are doing live notes of transportation plants and animals with a mentee. Yes, live notes with mentee. So make sure that you see the session. Now moving on further ahead. So we have done with all of these. We know mentee, we know permanent teeth, everything we know. Now let us learn the digestion in grass eating animals. So in grass eating animals, the process is a little different. First they chew the food a little bit and they send it to the rumen. In the rumen, all the cellulose is digested and the food is sent back to the mouth for rumination, right? And the food that is sent back to the mouth is called cut. Then the animal will sit and ruminate the food. It will nicely chew it and then it will send it to the stomach, omasum, abomasum and then the further process goes on, right? So first from the mouth, it will go to the rumen. It will come back to the mouth and then it will go to the stomach, omasum, abomasum and rectum and the anus. So that is the process in grass eating animals and because they ruminate, the meaning of the word ruminate means to meditate. Because they are peacefully sitting and chewing, that is why it is called rumination. Okay? Chal. Then I talk about feeding and digestion in grass eat, uh, in amoeba. So amoeba has got false feet called pseudopodia. It will go towards the food. It will go towards the food, hug it. It will embrace the food and create a food vacuole. This food vacuole will secrete certain enzymes and it will digest the food. The amoeba's body will absorb the nutrients and remove the waste from any part of the body. So that is feeding and digestion in amoeba. Okay? So guys, I already told you that if you want to join my crash course where you are getting live classes with quizzes, entire syllabus coverage, doubt solving, notes, assignments, study material, then you just have to go to vdnt.in slash ytpro and use PRPRO as the special discount code. Okay? Now, let us do the mentee guys. 
So the code for the Menti is 1813-4486. 1813-4486 is the course for the Menti. Thank you so much, Mana, for putting it in the chat. Thank you so much. God bless you. Yes, yes, yes. Chesta, yes. Pancreas do secrete those enzymes. You are absolutely right. And now, Shalom. Yes, Shivanshu, thank you so much. Akash, Menti is here. Quickly join the Menti, guys. Quickly join the Menti. Come on. Quick, quick, very quick. Quick, 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 quick. Chalo, that's amazingly awesome, guys. Chalo, quickly join the Menti. www.menti.com and use the code one eight one three double four eight six. One eight one three double four eight six is the code for the Menti. Chalo, very, very good, very nice. What is TTM? Supriya, that is taste, talk and mix. The tongue will taste, the tongue will talk and the tongue will also help you to mix it with the saliva. Yes, hopefully I will, Uma. Hopefully I will next year. Let's see, hope for the best. Trypsin and lipase. Trypsin is for carbs and lipase is for fa fatty acids. Right? Chal. So guys, quickly join the menti. Pihu, ho to. Karna hai bahut chal. Just not getting the time. And now, Chalo, cook with Sonali, Saurabh Gautam. Uh, Jay, the code is 1813-4486. And now, Chalo, yes, MAS Info, thank you so much for putting it in the chat. Absorption happens in both the small and the large intestine. The small intestine, Lakshmi, will absorb the nutrients, whereas the large intestine will absorb the water, the water and the minerals. And now, hello, super legend. Voice is low. Okay, okay, okay. Definitely I do that. Okay. Chal. 1813-4486. Thank you, Saurabh. Thank you so much. And now, chal. Scraping. Scraping matlab, you know, thoda, 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 when you just bite a little bit and you eat, that is uh, scraping. Beast or best amazing. I hope it's best. Yes, 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 Chabri, it is liver. Liver is the largest internal organ and skin is the largest external organ. Hello, Yadnashri, hello. Thank you, Lakshmi, thank you so much. Chalo, okay? Let's move on further now. Already more than 130 of your gen. That's really great. And guys, that is why, especially for you, I'm taking a session on Sunday on transportation in animals and plants. Live notes with a mentee on Sunday. Okay? So let's uh, meet on Sunday as well. Areva. Is it? Mass info. I didn't know. Thank you guys. Yeah, you keep teaching me these new new words. Mujhe sach mein pata ho. Hello, KBLM, GMG. Welcome to Vinatu Yamatas. So, uh, guys, I don't know if you have any words. I don't know if you have any words. I don't know if Because I don't go out. Right? Chal. So, uh, let's start. Here's the first question. I've got some very easy five questions for you. So, first one coming on your screen. First question on your screen. Okay. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, go. Here is the first question. Come on. The first question on your screen. Bile is produced in dash. Bile is produced in gallbladder, blood, liver or spleen. Where is the bile produced? Not stored. Produced. Okay. Uh, Ruhi. For sucking, there is a tube-like structure called proboscis present in mosquitoes, present in uh, butterfly. And absorption is when you are directly taking in the nutrients. See, in sucking, first you will suck, then you will process, then you will absorb. Right? So that is the difference between sucking and absorbing. Very good. 150 of you are playing the mentee and I have got 88 of you absolutely correct. Then liver will produce and the gallbladder will store. And let us look at the super board with the superstars. So we have got Simba, Android, R. Siva, Harsh from MK Sarami, Ashley, Samarth, Mansi, Bill, Riaz and Lion. Simba, you are the fastest. You are leading the leaderboard. That's amazing. And that brings us to the second question. The second question on your screen is here. 
Surbi ma'am. So uh, Arushi, Surbi ma'am is down with COVID. She has got COVID. So she, I think, is absent because of that. The breakdown of complex components into simple ones is called ingestion, ejection, assimilation, or digestion. Right? Okay, Sam. Got it. Ingestion, ejection, digestion, or assimilation. No, uh, I have decided the topic, but I have not decided the... I have decided the name also. The channel is also created, Pihu, but uh, not the title. But I know the topic. Thank you, Rehana. Hi, subscriber 42. Hi, Medha. Achha, sir, my name is Medha. Okay, Medha. Lakshmi, how do you know that your username is Lakshmi? So, I think your name is Lakshmi. But your name is beautiful Medha. So, I call you Medha now. Okay? Chalo. Digestion is the correct answer. Process of breakdown of complex into simple. R. Siva, Samarth, Mansi, Riyas, Swabhiman, Garima, Anand, Nikhil, Subhashmita and Shorya Thakur. Shorya, you are the fastest. Mansi, you are leading the leaderboard with one point. We have a tie between Anand and Nikhil and we also have a tie between Subhashmita and Samarth. That's amazing. Taking us to the third question. Question number three on your screen. Now. Hello Vidhan, God bless you dearest. Chalo. The teeth of first set fall off at the age between 10 to 12, 6 to 8, 9 to 1 or 0 to 2. The milk teeth, the milk teeth. Hello Aki, uh, sorry, hello Atik Mateen. Assalamu alaikum dear, how are you? Hi Anushka. Uh, like notes for grade 8, let's see when. Can't promise now, but uh, Sunday go transportation in class and animals are there. So Arushi, if you want to attend, you are more than welcome. Please attend. Hello Anushka. Okay, your name is Aiza. Okay. Hello Aiza. Assalamu alaikum. Hello Shaburi. Hi Sanskriti. 126 of you are correct out of 160 that it is between the age of 6 to 8. The milk teeth fall and the permanent teeth start coming. Right? So on the super board with the superstars, we have got Shaurya, Nikhil, Anand, Garima, Samar, Shubra, Tarun, Rahul, Anurag and Supari. Kya baat hai? Tarun Opi, AJJ, Cringe, Top, HE. Okay, that's a long name. Shorya, you're the fastest leading the leaderboard by three points. We have a tie between Tarun and Garima. We also have a tie between Anurag and Rahul. Kya baat hai? Chal. Sunday class will be at 11 o'clock. 11 o'clock. Hello, Takshil. Welcome to Vedanta Young Wonders. Question number four on your screens now. The Fantastic Four question. And that is, the process of taking in food. When you take in food through the mouth, that is ejection, ingestion, digestion or assimilation. Super easy, super easy, super easy. Hello, Sanskriti Gaikwad, Kaimantes, Namaskar. Rihanna, that's really good. That's really great. Amazing. Hello, Ria. Chal. Quick, quick, very quick. Yes, definitely, Arushi, you'll get the permanent teeth very soon. So, I would like to tell you an incident over here, guys. I don't remember what age I was, but I was very, very small. And uh, my brother and his friends, they were playing cricket. And I, by mistake, I ran into the player who was doing the batting. And he hit the bat very hard. And instead of the ball, he hit the bat on my face. And it hit my cheek so hard that my five teeth fell. Yes, five of my teeth fell. Every day, one one teeth used to fall. And total, I lost five of my teeth. But by the grace of God, they were all milk teeth. So I got my permanent teeth back. So ye mere saath hua hai. I have lost my five teeth due to the shot of a bat. Yeah, so it has happened with me. <laughs> anyway, so this is the first time that I'm telling this on a live platform. Shorya, Nikhil, uh, Anand, Tarun, Shubra, Samarth, Anurag, Sonali, Harshita and Ishika. Oh my God. Wow, we have got three people who are uh, fastest this time. Shubra, Samarth and Harshita. Shorya, you are leading the leaderboard with one point and we do not have any tie. Which brings us to the final question. The final question. Oh, that's really sad, Medha. Mm, you broke your sister's milk teeth. I hope the teeth are back now. Okay, the final question on your screen, the famous five. Come on, come on, come on. And the removal of feces through the anus from time to time. When you remove the feces every day in the washroom, what is it called? Rumination, micturation, ingestion or ejection. The removal of the waste. 
Okay, Jay, I was thinking you just need to go to vdnt.in slash ytpro. The link is given in the chat also. You see a blue color ribbon in the chat? You can follow that and remember to use PRPRO as the discount coupon code. Yes, Ramya, it was very easy. Hi, Mamta. Hello. Chalo. Very, very easy. Let us see who wins the Menti. So, ingestion is the correct answer. 95 of you are correct. And on the Super Bowl with the Superstars, we have got Shaurya Nikhil Anand, Shubra Samar Shanali, Ishika Pratik, Vaibhavi and Anugraha. Out of all these, Nikhil and Shanali are the fastest. Shh, it's a tie. Oh my God. Nikhil and Shaurya. Kya baat hai? Nikhil and Shaurya, amazingly awesome. Very good, very good, very good, very good. That's amazing, guys. Great performance. Super nice. Hai na? Sure. That's really great, guys. And now, uh, let me tell you two important announcements to make. One is I'm meeting you live on Sunday at 11 o'clock. And second is I've got a riddle for you. So make sure that you give me the answer in the comment section below. You can connect with us on Telegram and here is the riddle. Sends paper without using the post office. What is something that can send the paper without using the post office? Tell me the answer in the comment section below. And guys, if you like this video, give this video a big fat thumbs up. Subscribe to Vedanta Young Wonders, it's absolutely free. And do share this video with your friends and school WhatsApp group. Also guys, do let me know the answer to the riddle in the comment section below. See you guys, see you on Sunday sharp at 11 a.m. Till then, take care, have an amazing weekend. God bless all of you. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye. Take care.